Student doctor, what are the differential diagnosis for generalized increased bone density? Generalized increased bone density can be divided into myeloproliferative disease, metabolic causes, poisoning, and neoplastic. Due to myelosclerosis, bone marrow cavity is narrowed by endosteel new bone formation, patchy lucencies due to persistence of fibrous tissue. It is associated with hepatosplenongly. Renal osteodystrophy is the most common metabolic disease that causes generalized increased bone density. Also, poisoning like fluorosis can cause generalized increased bone density, which is associated with periosteal reaction, prominent muscle attachments, and calcification of ligaments and interosseous membranes. Changes are most marked in the innominate bones and lumbar spine. Also, we have to consider neoplastic diseases like osteoblastic metastases which are most commonly from prostate and breasts, and also lymphoma metastases and mastocytosis also cause increased bone density. These neoplastic diseases more commonly seen as multifocal than generalized. Mastocytosis manifests as sclerosis of marrow-containing skeleton with patchy areas of radiolucency, also urticaria pigmentosa. Patients can have symptoms and signs of carcinoid syndrome. Also, we have keep in mind idiopathic diseases like Paget's disease causes generalized increased bone density, which is more commonly multifocal than generalized. Thanks for watching Radiology Made Easy. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video.